Hi everybody, this is Kitsune Haruri and welcome to my channel. Today I've got another mail call. Uh, this one was sent to me by Cleophon. Thank you very much for watching and also for sending me this. Um, I was expecting it. I was messaged first and she asked if I wanted this. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, as you recall, if you've been watching some of my blind box openings, I keep getting crystal creatures with the same creature in it. I always get the brown deer with the roses. I've not been able to get anything else. Well, she happened to be able to get something else. So she has said that here for me today. I did take a quick peek. Just, you know, because I'm impatient. But I haven't actually fully opened it. So, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to open this up. Let's see what creature she sent for me. And no, I'm not turning it around because you don't need to see any addresses. You know that. <laughs> so we got a whole bunch of foam goodies. Here I am, right back to throwing things on the floor. I'll never learn. And ah, there's a note in here. And here is the egg. All right. And she put some really cute little doodles on there for me. Looks like we have lollipops and peace signs, flowers, stars, hearts, and happy faces. I just accidentally take that shut. Yes, I did. I'm sabotaging myself because I'm good at it. All right. A quick peek at the notes. Dear Haruri, enjoy this crystal creature the way it should be, slime free and non duplicated. Of the three eggs I got, I ended up with another brown deer. Big surprise, I think that's the biggest one they've got. A blue unicorn, and the surprise critter that now sits before you. Hope you like it. Peace, Cleophon. Thank you so much, Cleophon, for the letter. And for the creature. And let's get this open and have a look and put it together. And it, yes, it is so very nice to not have my hands all covered in slime <laughs> to be able to do this. So here we are. Aww. <laughs> and you made a little bag to put it in, too. Thank you so much. And look, look, there's a little fox on it and hoots, and little trees, and shrooms, and a little schnail. Thank you. <laughs> so cute. Yes, and oh, thank you for including this, because I'll need it to be able to put the thing together. Because believe me, with these, you want the instructions. All right, let's see who falls out of here. <laughs> it could be my table. One moment, please, while I correct this. I had to boost it up so it was visible on the screen. For some reason, I couldn't line it up today, so I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. That was interesting. This one little tiny, tiny little piece. Decided to take off way over there into that closet that's being worked on and hide under things. Of course, it had to be the tiniest little piece that did it. So let's try and do this without knocking the table over. All right, there's a tail there. We have some legs. Some of these little tiny red pieces. There's a part of the stand. There's another leg. A big red wing, a second big red wing. Oh, look at this. Look at that head. There's the body. This is going to be a thing through this whole deal, isn't it? Evidently, 
the law of gravity is in full effect here today. <sighs> Not within my kitsune powers to stop that. <laughs> Very wise. Tiny pieces. You know me. <laughs> okay, so we have little claws and this sort of thing, little horns. Right here is the neck. More decorative red bits. Little piece that goes on the stand. There's something else way down in here. Another little red piece. All right. So we have everything laid out here. See who we get. And this is Ruby Wing. Ruby Wing is kind of a horse like dragon. All right, so let's see about putting Ruby Wing together. <laughs> illustration on here showing you pulling the bits and pieces out of the slime just pour it out on the table that'll never happen here so anyhow let us begin I believe with the body very carefully so as I do not dump everything again body. Oh, the body's a little soft and squishy. And we have some legs. And these two are the front legs and these two are the hind legs. And the hind is the narrow side. The double holes up. This one is actually posed in such a way. Let's see if I can match up what it wants done. This one kind of has it opposed to the way it stands. So here's the neck, which goes right there. The head, which goes right here. It's a really lovely tail. It has layers of feathers. You can see down in there. You can put your foot down, my little friend, because you're you're hesitant and you're standing. Okay, so the tiny red pieces, such as the one that was getting away from me, going front legs, and each way is up on you. It's narrow side down, perhaps. Hmm. Got some fuzzy on the nose. I believe. Yes. All right. The rather large roundish ones go on the flanks. Possible to tell. Well, let's just go with which way I think it goes, and I think the pointy end goes down on this. I think. Okay. Well, 
<coughs> as far as construction goes. I don't think it much matters how you put them. They'll go in. I'm just, uh, I'm kind of guessing at it. Okay, and this one is this chest piece. Double unicorn. Let's go here. Very nice. Yellow jewels. Okay, so one goes on the forehead and one on each flank. I believe. Where's the Ah, that didn't stay. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh no, it's a tiny claw that goes there. The jewels do go on the flank. And where the third jewel goes? Is it the chest piece? It's the chest piece. Okay. So, let's try that again. Tiny little jewels. There we go. One on the chest piece. Tiny horns. There's three of those as well. One goes on the forehead. Right there. And one on each wing. Where else is wing claws? And one there. And then the wings go in the large holes in the back. And they are jointed as well. See, you can still move the wing. Lovely. Let's get you up on your stand, my little friend. That is the lovely Ruby Wing, all assembled. All right, and thank you very much, Cleophon. 
Um, I was very much wanting to try out another one of these, and this is definitely no disappointment. I do like these a whole lot more than the Breakout Beasts. They, uh, I, I think these just look nicer. <laughs> they really do match up what you're supposed to see in the illustrations. The clear pieces are clear. I really do like these. And again, thank you all for watching. I uh, should have plenty more coming through pretty soon. I am putting up a couple of tutorial type things. or Not really a tutorial on all of them. One's a tutorial, for sure. That should be up very soon. Um, if I didn't already do this, because we know how I am about not putting things up in order that I think I'm going to do them. I will be putting up a couple of tests on some materials and also oh, well, just wait and see. You'll see what I'm doing. But again, thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and if you want notified when the videos come out, hit the notification bell. But I am releasing them every Friday. Now that I'm actually keeping with a decent schedule. Um, just keep an eye out for those uh, here. They will definitely be ready when you're awake in the morning because they go up at midnight because I schedule them to do so. Um, and if you're up earlier than that, well, it's a better way for it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. At midnight, go watch my video. Again, go and visit me on Facebook and let me know what you think, any ideas you have. Uh, the Facebook page is Steamed Fox Latte, which is listed in the end credit. I am also on Tumblr as Steamed Fox Latte. And on DeviantArt, I am also Kitsune Haruri, the same as I am on this channel. Don't forget that I also have a Patreon and an Etsy page. Right now I have a lot of seasonal goodies going up and gift items and decorative items. So if you're doing your holiday shopping, have a look. I have a few things for you to see. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.